Hey guys, Ashley here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own vision board for your fitness planner, which really you can use this for any planner. I actually used to have mine set up. The front of it was fitness and the back of it was for family and just life in general. And you'll see here shortly that I ended up changing this um, around and taking out the pictures and stuff. And I'm going to walk you through my entire process from how I find photos, how I resize them, print them, cut them out, and then stick them inside of here. But before we dive into that, I wanna show you the protective sheets that I use are from the Happy Planner. This is what they look like. These ones are sized for a classic Happy Planner. And then they also have some from their memory keeping line that is sized for a big Happy Planner. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna link them down below, but they've been sold out on their website, which really sucks. And I hope that they come back in stock soon, but make sure you are checking Hobby Lobby, Joann's and Michael's cause there might be some there. Make sure you look inside of the scrapbooking stuff too for the memory keeping ones because you might find some. But I will have a link down below and just make sure you keep checking back to see if they come in stock. So let's go ahead and dive in and I will show you how I create this fitness vision board. To find the images, I use Pinterest and I get on there and I type in like fitness motivation, weight loss motivation. Um, sometimes I type in like fit women. And so I get on Pinterest, I have a board created and I will share that board with you guys down below. But listen, I'm only saving these to the board because of the images, not because of the articles. Like I have no affiliate with any of the articles or whatever. I've never read them. I don't know what they say just for the picture. So I will share that, but just know that if you click on one of them and something strange comes up, I, I did not know. <laughs> All right. Um, but get on there, find whatever images you like. If you like the images that are on my board, like I said, I will have it linked down below and you guys can save those to your own board. But from there, what you're going to do is you're going to click on each image. And if you click the three little dots, you can download it. You can also do this on your cell phone for downloading the images. So I went through all the pictures that I wanted to use and I downloaded them to my MacBook. And then from there, I opened up a Word document and this is where we're gonna import all of those pictures into. And then I'm gonna resize them inside of Microsoft Word. Now, the um, for the sh protective sheet that I'm using, the image sizes are two by two depending upon which like protective cover that you use, the image sizes might be different, but I'm gonna show you these, sizing these down for two by two. The easiest way that I know to do it is to click on uh, picture format up at the top and then over there on the side, you can um, resize things and it is by inches, not by pixels. So that makes this process a lot easier. And you just put in two by two. Now for some of these, like this one here that is longer, this one, I have to crop it down first and then resize it. And for some of your pictures that are longer horizontally or vertically, you may have to crop those down and play with them a little bit. They might not be exactly two by two, but if you can get them pretty close, they fit well inside of the um, little protective sheet. So don't stress too much about it. And also if the pictures that I am using do not motivate you and inspire you, don't use them. For me, I wanna build muscle. Dana Lynn Bailey and Brooke Ince are like my idol whenever it comes to building muscle. Them two girls are incredible, such motivations. But again, if those types of, if that doesn't like motivate you, obviously, don't put it on your fitness inspiration board because that's not going to be motivating for you. But go through, size down all of, all of your images, and then from there, to get all of the images onto one page so we're not wasting paper, make all go to, if you've seen me do it there, go to wrap text for each image and make it square. Now listen, the pictures will overlap each other, so make sure you move them because I actually lost a few images the first time I did this because I didn't move the images on top if that makes sense because it will layer them but once you hit wrap text this will allow you to move the images where you want them to be you know how like in microsoft word sometimes it automatically well not sometimes all the time it will automatically place pictures where they fit on the page versus actually saving space on the page um, so if you go to wrap text make all of them square you will be able to move the images around um, to where it's all, you can print them out on one sheet of paper. And to print these, I just print these out on regular printer paper. If you wanna print them on cardstock, you sure can. If you wanna actually print photos out and cut the photos out, you can do it that way as well. That's entirely up to you. But for me, I, I find just printing them on my regular printer works, works out great.
All right, now they have printed and I'm gonna take them to my desk and we're gonna start cutting all of the pictures out so then we can stick them inside of that protective cover. But first I gotta make some space on my desk because it is a disaster. Um, so with the images, I just take a pair of scissors. If you have a paper cutter, that works well too. I have one, but I didn't line these up to where it would be easy to use a paper cutter. So if you wanna use your paper cutter, make it a little bit faster, just make sure before you print that you line the images up to where they're straight. So when you use your paper cutter, you guys can't see me, but I'm actually sitting here right now doing this voiceover and I'm doing hand motions as if I'm holding a paper cutter right now. Um, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was funny. But um, I go through and I cut all of the images out. Now there are two images that I couldn't get sized right because they were um, really, really tall. So they were more vertical than they were wide and I couldn't get them to size down right. So I didn't end up using those ones. But for the images that have a white background, you can see me here, I just take a pencil over the other images that I already cut out. Like I take a pencil and I trace around that quote that has a white background that doesn't show me where to cut. That way I can get the right sizing for that. Now I'm gonna stick the photos in the protective cover, but first I'm gonna take the photos on the back out. Now these ones I had in there, they were um, a part of my vision board where I had stuff for my son, my family, marriage, adventures, traveling, stuff like that, because this vision board actually used to be in my catch-all planner. And so that's why the front was fitness, the back was like the rest of my life basically. And now I'm gonna take those out and I'm gonna make this just for my fitness planner. So the front and the back of it is going to be for um, my fitness vision board. And I'm gonna go through and organize these. And I, I'm gonna show you this entire process for the front of it, but you'll see here in just a little bit, I'll show you the back. I ended up doing the back of it as well. Like I, I got back on Pinterest, I found more photos, I sized them down, cut them out and stuff. And I also did it for the back and I'll show you what the back of it looks like. But these productive covers, it's really easy to slip your photos in there. Um, I mean, sometimes it's, I kind of struggle with it trying to get them lined up. You know what I'm talking about? I have to like get them just right, lining them up. But other than that, they slip in there really, really easy. And here I'm just kind of laying them out first before I started sticking them in to decide where I wanted the pictures to go on each little square. All right, I have the front side completed. Now I'm gonna do the back side. And again, I got back on Pinterest. I did the exact same thing that I showed you earlier. I found some pins that I wanted. I saved them, I downloaded them, put them inside of another Word document, sized them down, printed them out, cut them out, and now we're here. I didn't film all that because it's, it's repetitive and I've already showed you once. So I'm sure you don't wanna sit here and, and waste your time watching the same thing over and over again. Um, but here I'm just organizing them like I did the front before I stick them in there to make sure that I like the layout. And I did end up using three photos, four, was it four? Four photos from the previous vision board that I had. For the most part, the photos from that other vision board, like before I changed them all out, I they still ring true to me. Um, but for some of them, I did want to update and I found some better pictures that I liked more. So if you want to do this and you don't have the protective sheets from the Happy Planner, let's say that they're still sold out and you can't find them in stores, I want you to take a look at some of the scrapbooking supplies that other companies have because you may find a protective sheet from them that would work size-wise to fit inside of a Happy Planner and then you can punch it. 
I know that most of them already come punched to go inside of like a three ring binder, but you might be able to work around that with your Happy Planner punch to make this work inside of your planner. You might also be able to cut it down and then punch it. I'm not for sure. I haven't tried that, but I just want to give you another option in case you can't find the protective sheets that are from the Happy Planner. And just like that, the vision board is complete and I love it. I'm so glad I updated it. I'm glad I made this video because this is what made me sit down and finally update my vision board. I think it turned out super cute, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments section. And then we're going to stick this in the front of my fitness planner, which is where it lives. And I see it every time I open up my fitness planner. I thought about moving it to my weekly section, but I do love having it in the front of my fitness planner. But that my friends is how you can make a vision board. Remember, it doesn't just have to be for a fitness planner. You can use it for any planner, any goals or visions that you have. And I hope this video has inspired you to create your own vision board for your planner. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.